Hey, thanks for joining us today on Live Music Nation. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today we're with Brian Rice from Waterfest in Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Brian, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you. Good, good. Tell us a little bit about you, um, your your background, your childhood, and, and your career right. up to now. All right. Well, I've got, you know, I'm a lifelong resident of Excelsior Springs. Um, I, uh, I was in the newspaper business for about 32 years. So, uh, uh, you know, unique perspective of the community, uh, running the newspaper and stuff. I recently retired from that, and now I'm the chamber director for the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> but I've been involved with the chamber for, you know, 20 plus years. Uh, very attached to the community. Excelsior Springs is such a unique community. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of a lot of personality here and stuff. So it was just it was just you know there was no need for me to go anywhere else or try anything else. So I just grew up around around town here, and I've just always been involved with the community and with the with the chamber and the festivals. Very good. Let's talk a little bit about Waterfest. I believe we played there um, maybe seven eight years ago. It's been it's been a while, but I remember the town. I remember um, you've got a lot of history in town. You even have. Uh, a legendary historic hotel, if I remember right. You do, yes. Yeah. So tell, uh, tell us about Waterfest and, and uh, give us some history on that. Okay. Well, we named it Waterfest for uh, the historic waters of our community. Excelsior Springs was founded in 1880, and it was, uh, you know, settlers found uh, healing properties in the mineral waters here. And the more the more they developed and the more they uh, the, uh, established the community here, they found there's more and more in the, in the ground. In fact, uh, I believe to date they've like identified 40 different springs and mi different wow. mineral waters and stuff in the in the community. So Excelsior Springs can proudly boast that, you know, we've got the most mineral water springs in one area. So, you know, that's a unique uh unique fact about our community and and so Waterfest is kind of that 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 celebration of our unique water heritage um you know the elms hotel is the historic hotel and it, it developed in 1888 there's been some different renditions of that and everything but yeah of course if anybody knows excelsior springs they probably know about the elms hotel um and then the other the other historic landmark we have is the hall of waters and they built that Oh, I believe it was in 1938, um, and it was a building. It was an Art Deco structure specifically built to draw all these different mineral waters together in one place. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, it boasts the longest water bar in, in the world. Um, so it's undergoing some renovations right now. The community's rallying together to keep that building uh, uh, going well. So sure. Waterfest is just our traditional uh, celebration. When does, when does Waterfest occur? It's the it's the fourth weekend in June. Okay, all right, and and so give us a history on that. How many years do you think it's been in existence? <laughs> That's the one thing I know forever. It's been around. I mean, my lifetime. I, you know, I, I it, it started out small. You know, it was a fishing river river festival. Um, you know, and it was like most small town festivals. You had sure. you know small vendors. They would get around around fishing river. You'd bring in some entertainment. Uh, that sort of thing. And then, you know, throughout my lifetime here in Excelsior, it just kind of grew and grew and grew. And, you know, now, you know, I would say, you know, we bring in probably, I think, you know, we brought in 12,000 people at, 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 at okay. a week. And it give takes us, over the entire downtown. Give the listener a visual uh, for the week and the weekend that it is. Uh, when they come to town, what are they going to see? What events are there? Okay. Um well, you come in, you come downtown, all right? So you come down to a valley. We're a unique community. So you come downtown to the valley. First, you're, you're just, uh, you're surrounded with the history of Excelsior Springs. You see a lot of, you see the hollow waters, you'll see the elms, uh, you know, a very picturesque uh, community, a lot of trees, you know, fishing river. So it's a real wonderful community. Uh, and then you'll come up to our Broadway and from one end to the other, it's just nothing but booths. You, you just see vendors and booths. We have over 100 people, 100 different booths here. Uh, you come in, uh, the Chamber of Commerce has a, a historic trolleys. So you'll see a trolley driving around town. You, they'll be given historic water tours so people can come in and hear and learn about the, the history of Excelsior Springs. Uh, our festival grew, it, it, you know, geographically, we can't go in a circle. I, I've done some festivals where you can walk around a, a courthouse. Well, we're long. So... 
So we, over time, we, we added two stages. We've got two stages now instead of one. Oh, wow. So on one end, you'll have, you'll have what we call the good news stage and local church, uh, the uh, Crescent Lake uh, Christian Center, they've, they've taken that on for us. And so you can come and, and listen to that stage. A lot of contemporary Christian bands come in from the Kansas City area. Uh, Jimmy Bratcher is one of our regulars. He comes in the blues. He plays that a lot. And then you'll walk a little bit further down the street, a lot of food vendors, crafts, that sort of thing. And you'll come to the main stage and, um, and we have a beer garden there. So you can, you can, uh, uh, and kids games, we've got lots of kids games. That's kind of right in the center. And then you continue walking. You've got, you've got more, uh, activities. You know, we try, we try to, we try to add things every year, petting zoos for the kids. It's real yeah. family friendly. It's a real family friendly, uh, uh, environment. We shoot fireworks off on Saturday night. You know, big celebration. We got a silo mountain, so perfect view. You're down there in the valley. You look up on the mountain. Here we're shooting off some fireworks. It's just a great time. No, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. For for you, Brian, what are some of the personal rewards of being involved with this? You know, just seeing people come to town and see our community. I grew up here, you know, so I love it here. Yeah. Um, I've got a unique perspective of the people here, uh, the businesses that rally. Uh, a lot of people have different opinions of Excelsior Springs. They don't know. You know, the Kansas City, they think, oh, we're too far away. It's too right. far to drive. We're 20 minutes away. You know, 20 right. minutes, you're here. You know, it's a good day trip. And, and suddenly you're in Excelsior Springs. And, you know, the reward for me working on Waterfest, as long as I have with my committee, you know, we work all year long. You know, the second the festival is over, we take maybe July off. And then we sit down and we say, okay, let's take notes. Let's start planning the next party. You know, let's start doing it <laughs> yeah. again. So it's yeah. a year long continuous process and just sitting there that weekend watching eight, 10, 12,000 people come to your town, walk up and down your streets, enjoying your music, enjoying your, you know, your, uh, your hospitality. It's just, it's just rewarding. I mean, it's become a family thing for us. You know, my wife is involved, you know, my son, uh, he's 32, just got married and, uh, he's involved with Waterfest. Now. Yeah. In fact, he's becoming one of the stage managers. He's in training, you know, for the bookings of the future bands and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of turned into a family event for us. It's great. It's just, it, you know, that's, that's what I enjoy seeing is the people coming to town and having a good time. Yeah, no, that's perfect. You did such an amazing job describing it, um, that, uh, who's not going to want to visit and, and do that <laughs> as it goes through there. All right, Brian, I'm a, I'm a live music. I'm an entertainment kind of guy. So let's talk about, let's talk about you. And first of all, what is the best concert that you've ever seen in your entire life? <laughs> My best, I'm going to date myself. I'm like in the, I'm a, I was an eighties child. So okay. I did a lot of, I did a lot of eighties. So I have to say, you know, a lot of the 80s bands, Ario Speedwagon, I was into uh, Huey Lewis and the News. Okay, I was kind of that guy. All right, so, all right. Uh, all Chicago. Right. Okay, um, so if you, could bring, if you could bring one act to Waterfest, dead or alive, money not an issue, who would you bring? What would you bring to your town? Wow, that's a good question. You know, Elvis Presley. Yeah. <laughs> That I like say you, Elvis you can see like you can see Elvis walking down the stairs of the hotel, coming down. He'd be in the parade. Yeah, He'd be in yeah, our parade. We have, we have a huge parade, you know. And and you know, I, I was turned on to Elvis with my dad. My dad's a huge Elvis fan. In fact, right. you know, music filled our house. Growing up, my parents really put the love of music in my heart because you know we had Creedence Clearwater Revival on the on the radio. Yeah, you know, we, we had we had those those seventies bands, Starship. We had. Uh, you know, just all of them. Eric Clapton, I'm a big Eric Clapton fan. He, you know, he's still alive. I, I, I'd like to see Eric Clapton here too. Oh nice. yeah, I know that'd be great. That'd so be that's great. that's my age. That's kind of okay. showing. Yeah, I mean, we no, have a lot of cover sense. bands. I'm a huge uh, a Fleetwood Mac fan, and we had we had a yep. cover band here last year. It was a huge draw. It was good. Good, uh, good, good. Very good. Brian, how do people find out more about Waterfest? We have a website, eswaterfest.com. That's the okay. best way to find out. Um, and then just um, <clears throat> Facebook. We're on Facebook. Uh, just, sure. just look up ES Waterfest. Okay. Very good. Brian Rice, thanks for being on with us today. I appreciate yeah, thank you, man. You. you bet. Appreciate Have a good day. You too. Well, baby, I'm on with a follow -up.